Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you another Star Wars Galaxies emulator video. In this video, we are doing the Jedi Village Phase 4 quest for both combat prowess, ranged speed, as well as enhanced reflexes, melee defense. That's right, this one quest has two rewards. If we talk to our good old friend Captain Sarguilo here, he will say, easy there, recruit. I have an assignment for you whenever you're ready. I can give you training after you complete this mission. Would you be more interested in learning how to fire ranged weapons more quickly or defending yourself in melee combat? So we actually have a choice of doing ranged speed or melee defense. The quest will be the same for either. However, if you, for whatever reason, wanted both ranged speed and melee defense, you can only get one per this phase. So you would have to wait for the village to cycle through phase one, phase two, phase three, and come back to phase four before you could get the second one. We're gonna go with melee defense, but like I said, the quest is the same regardless. So even if you're going for range speed, this video will still apply to you. He says, here's what I have. Outlaws and pirates are swarming this area like Jawas over a speeder engine. The village's safety is going to rely on reducing the number of hostiles we have in this area. I'm counting on you to do that. You want me to take out all of them? No. In fact, I just want you to take out a few. Well, more than a few. Let's say 50 outlaws. I think you can handle that. The rest of them will get the message and this isn't a safe spot for, or that this isn't a safe spot for them to hang around. The pirates, well, there's less of them, so let's say 25 of the pirates. Can you handle that? Yes, sir. Alright, good. Come back and see me while you're working on the problem, and I'll let you know how things are going. So basically, you can come back to him, and he'll just... I think he, like, gives you progress updates. Village Assault. So, if you click on these, it, I believe, tells you... It doesn't tell you how many you've killed, but it tells you how many you need. So, 50 Sith Shadow Outlaws, and 25... Uh, Sith Shadow Pirates. Now, luckily, I am recording this on the Nova server, and they have it accelerated, so you don't need to kill that many of them to complete the quest on Nova, but on Basilisk, or Suncrusher, I guess, if this is way in the future, uh, 50 and 25 are the number, or is the number, are the numbers, are the numbers that you're going to have to kill. I am going to be teaming up to complete this mission, because with the standard Blue Frog buffs, uh, I do know that the Sith Shadow Pirates can be a little bit difficult to kill on your own, especially as a Terrace Kasi. So we're going to go and see if uh, Ferelli, who's on Ferelloni, can uh, maybe pair up and have a little bit better luck together. Alright, well, we're grouped up. We're going to go out. We're going to kill some Sith Shadows, and hopefully we don't die. Looks like we're in a pause here. That's good. So, actually, that's good. Now that I have you here, do you know what the respawn delay is on these waves? I think it's like 30 minutes. And is that going to be the same on Bassi as it is on Nova? I do believe so, yeah. It's supposed to be like a 75 to 90 minute wave with like a 20 to 30 minute break or something like that. Cool. There's one guy over here. There's not a over here. Yeah, so there is. Is he a POW? Like, why isn't he under attack? He's, uh... Yeah, he's not even attacking the villager over here. Let's see what he does. He's yellow, Con. Or, uh... He's, he's, he's a dope. Stay clear that. There we go. No! You killed the villager! Oh, right. I forgot. <laughs> That's an area attack. <laughs> Well, he had 44 credits on him. All right, so unfortunately, Nova crashed. So we lost Ferelli. He's off doing something else right now. So we're going to have to continue this on my own. But the way this phase works is really simple. Uh, Ferelli did the time breakdown earlier, but every once in a while, the Sith Shadows send wave after wave of enemies to attack the village. Luckily, the village has these small block turrets as defenses, and I forgot to buff myself. So, what you have to do is simply hang out outside. Where is enhanced character? There we go. Um, you hang out outside around the village and kill as many of these guys as you possibly can until you reach the number of kills that you need to for the quest. And as you can see, 
I'm getting multiple kills for each individual kill that I get, um, but that is simply because I'm doing it on Nova, not on Basilisk. On Basilisk, you will need to kill the whole 50, um, was it 50 thugs and 25 pirates or something like that? No, what was it? 50 outlaws and 25 pirates. So I don't think the thugs, do the thugs count? What do they count as? But you can see these guys are, are rather tough compared to the other ones. If you can get the turrets to help you out, that is, it makes it so much easier. And the really good thing is, you don't need to actually have like the loot rights on these guys for them to actually count as kills. As long as you get a hit in, it's going to count no matter who kills it. So if there are multiple groups running around killing things, all you have to do is run up and get a couple hits in on a target in order to get qu uh, credit for that kill, even if the other group is the group that kills it and gets the loot rates for it. Uh, and that also goes for the turrets. Looking at these guys' resistances, they're pretty high. In the 80s, energy is 85, kinetic 75, pretty much everything. 65 is the lowest with heat. So commandos with flamethrowers, or I think there's a couple pistols that do heat damage. Those are the weapons uh, that you're going to be looking to use, but really, it doesn't make that much of a difference. 15%, it's not like uh, you're going to be dropping them in one hit if you manage to have a heat weapon. Here comes another wave. Alright, let's see what happens when this guy dies. Yeah, nothing. Alright, so the thugs don't count for anything. Four outlaws left. Now, I'm on the north side of the village, but there are a couple of other spawns that do pop up. You can see on the mini-map, we have a couple spawns inside the village. Two pirates, I want to get these. Good, I only need two more pirates. Two thugs. I'm not even going to bother. In here we have a thug. We have an outlaw. We have two outlaws hiding over here. And there's a group on the south side of the village. Here comes the rain. Resistances on the outlaws are a little different. 65% kinetic, 65% energy, 55 blast. 60 to heat and cold, and 80 to electricity, stun and acid. So for these guys... Uh, Blast. Swordsman using a power hammer is the best, but kinetic and energy is not, you know, it's not bad. There we go. Two outlaws left. This is so much easier for arranged professions. You just, like, tag the guys from across the, the field. Come on. One pirate left. Don't tell me that was the last wave. Don't tell me that was the last wave. Oh, good. There's more on the other side. They're in the village. This is not going to end well. Yes, I completed the task! You've unlocked Enhanced Reflexes Melee Defense Skill Branch. I mean, that one's really it. This is probably... While this isn't the easiest village quest, this is probably the most straightforward one. It's just kill a bunch of dudes until you hit a certain number. Luckily, I think that was it. I think I managed to finish it just before the, uh, the waves stopped spawning. Which... Whew, I'm glad I did, because waiting for Nova to come back up was pretty pretty boring. I'd like to thank you for all the hard work you did. Get some rest. I'm sure at some point in the future we'll need some more help from you, but for now you've earned some R&R. &R, and that's it. That's how you get both of them. Um, ranged speed and melee defense. So, you go talk to Nolden, get your training, and then start converting your XP at Paymos. Uh, yeah. I don't think this one really required a video to be made, but hey, we're going to make a video for all of them as easy as they are. 
I hope you guys found it entertaining. It's probably going to be the shortest one for the village out there. But uh, now I don't have to do it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll be this one here, and I'll see you in the next one.